the king of knowledge is love. So if you love, you know Krishna. So if you love Krishna fully, you know Krishna. You can know Krishna fully. And the reply is, no, sorry. <laughs> Even if you have Prem Bhakti and you live, you're already in the Leela. Yeah, you love Krishna fully, but you can always love Krishna more fully. You follow? Because that's how it works. Krishna's all, always expanding his own limits. He's always becoming more love, lovable, more loving. His own loving capacity is reaching new heights at every nanosecond. <laughs> so you have to keep up with that. It's not that, but I already love you fully. I have Prem Krishna. Look, I, I received the, the card. Prem Bhakta. I came, if I'm here, it's because I reached that level. And Krishna says, yeah, but this is ongoing, it's an ongoing affair. It keeps going, evolving. It's an ever-evolving pattern. It's very dynamic. Mm -hmm. So my point is that, okay, if you love Krishna fully, you know Krishna fully, but nobody can love Krishna fully because love is always expanding. <laughs> so you can always love Krishna more, which means you can always know Krishna more through love. So it's, he always remains a mystery in that sense. Mm -hmm. Not only he always remains a mystery to us, tiny little jivas, he always remains a mystery to himself. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. No, God is a mystery to God, no, to himself. He doesn't know his own limits. That's There's a verse in the 87th chapter of the 10th canto of the Bhagavatam, where the, the Vedas personified are praising Bhagavan in that way. They are saying, we don't know your own limits, but let's be honest, you don't know your own limits because those limits do not exist. That's what the commentators say. You cannot know something which does not exist. And God's limits do not exist. So he cannot know those limits. <laughs> so he doesn't know <laughs> what to speak of us. He himself. And what to speak of Mahaprabhu, remember, God doesn't know the limit of his own glories and heart. That's perfectly depicted in the figure of Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself wondering, which, who am I? What's all that I can be? Which are my limits? Which are the limits of my own heart? His heart is Radha, personified. Radha is Krishna's heart embodied. And that unknowing not knowing and exploring gives us a result, Gorlila, basically. Knowing through unknowing. <laughs> and the Gorlila is eternal. Remember, that's an important point also. It's, we say, okay, Mahaprabhu, Krishna's Mahaprabhu tasted Radha Bhav. He went through all these three, Radhaya, Pranaya, Mahima, all these three main purposes for his descent. He was successful. Great. I will say, sorry. <laughs> yes, but no. Why? Because, again, how Radha's heart is a bottomless ocean. So how can Krishna fully taste that? Again, you can never fully conclude the project. So that's why you need an ongoing project going on. And that's Nityanavadvi. That's why Gaur Lila is eternal, because there is no limit to how much Krishna can experience Radha Bhav. He's doing that forever and ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, again, that's Mahaprabhu. That's how we're, So never be so sure about that you know who Mahaprabhu is. That's a great temptation for the ego and for the mind. I already know. So I, when I know, I can control. And it's predictable. It's controllable. It's expectable. Expectable? Whatever. <laughs> Expected. You can control the results. This mechanism that we drive too quickly because of fear of trusting in something to be honest. So we shouldn't be all we shouldn't be that sure that we know who God is. 